Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I painted a Mordor Warg and what I like to call my Angmar Warg. For the Mordor Warg, we're going to begin by priming the model black and then giving it an all over dry brush of Miskatonic Grey followed by another dry brush of Purity White along the higher edges so when we apply the speed paint we get the contrast in the colours. For the fur we're going to use Army Paint as speed paint dark wood. We're going to do the ratio at 2 to 1 so that's 2 parts paint to 1 part speed paint medium just so it doesn't go too dark and we can still see some of the dry brushing through. In this step just be careful not to hit any areas that haven't got the fur texture on the model because we'll class them as skin and we'll be painting them in the next step. With the skin we're going to use pure Gravelord grey speed paint over all the areas, the legs, the face but just be very careful not to catch the teeth. With all the speed paint used to apply the base colours we're then going to dry brush the fur First of all, I'm going to use Bosch Chestnut over the entire fur. Then I'm going to use Black Art Brown along the more of the upper areas of the fur, trying to keep from like the recesses where it dips into like the stomach area, just focusing more on sort of the top of the fur, the top of the legs, the top of the back legs, the tail, just keeping to them areas. With the dry brushing done, we're now going to focus on the face. So first of all, we're going to begin by highlighting the individual teeth. Just be careful not to get it in the groove, so with a small brush, pick out the raised areas of the teeth so we keep the shadow to separate them. With the teeth highlighted, I'm then going to move on to the gums. I'm going to be using Mayhem Red, and with a small brush, slowly go around the gum line. Just it adds a bit more separation between the lips and the teeth. The final thing we're going to do is highlight the skin. So I'm going to be using sort of scratchy highlight just on any of the raised areas around the face round by the eyes the front legs where the light would catch just with a small brush just doing very light line strokes running through once the highlight's done all that would be needed is to base the model and just give the base rim another paint of black but as it stands this model to me is finished now we're going to paint my Angmar inspired Warg. First of all, we're going to begin by priming the model white. And then we're going to use Cloud Burst Blue Army Paint, a speed paint. But again, we're going to do a two to one ratio. So two parts Cloud Burst Blue, one part speed paint medium and cover the whole skin area. Once the skin has been painted, we're now going to move on to the fur. We're going to use Army Paint, a speed paint, holy white on all the fur. Once the speed paint has dry, we're then going to dry brush Purity White over the entire fur just to bring a little bit more of the brighter white into this because I find with the Holy White it's a bit more grey than white so we just want to bring that back. Next we're going to move on to the mouth. I'm going to take some decayed black and right at the back of the mouth I'm just going to paint like a black circle to represent where the start of the throat is. Once the decayed black has dry, I'm then going to take some blood red army paint or speed paint and go all around the inner mouth, getting the gums and the tongue and the roof of the mouth, avoiding the teeth. But if you do get a bit on the teeth, it's not the end of the world because we will be going back through and just touching them up white before we add the colour onto the teeth. If you did catch any of the teeth like I did, just go back with some purity white once the blood red has dried and just go back and touch them all up just so they're nice and white again. Now we're going to go over the teeth with a pallid bone army paint or speed paint just to give them a bit more of a yellowy look to them. Once the pallid bone speed paint has dry just go back over the teeth with the purity white but keep more to the centres of the teeth just so we can keep the speed paint in the recesses. But I'm going to go around these highlights a couple of times just to really make that colour pop in the most highest areas. So when you look at the model, the skin really has that cold bluish tone and feel to it. The last thing left to do is highlight the skin. 
So I'm going to take some Hiriel Blue and I'm going to be using the scratchy highlight technique that I used on the Mordor Warg. And I'm going to hit any of the high areas all around the gums, tops of the legs, around the eyes. And once you are happy with the highlights you have placed, then again, all this model needs is basing and just a black rim added to it. Now they're both finished, we'll get a shot of them side by side so you can see the difference. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. Thanks for watching. <laughs>